let's say that you are married. And let's say that you are having issues in your marriage. Why would you take marriage advice from a person or people who gets divorced and continue, keyword, continue to get into bad relationships, continue to make bad choices. It is one thing if they have been divorced, but now they are making better choices. That is one thing, okay. But why would you take marriage advice from a person that continues to mess up? What if you do take that person's advice? If anything, I believe you may end up just like that person. Just like that person. Make sense? If you are a Christian, a true Christian, not one of these, hey, I believe in Jesus Christ and that makes me a Christian. No, a person who is actively following the rules and regulations of the Bible. A true Christian. If you are a true Christian, why would you take spiritual advice from a sinner? For instance, <laughs> let's say a person is really drunk and comes to you and start to tell you what is right in God's eyes, telling you what you need to do or say or whatever else. Why would you take, <laughs> why would you take spiritual advice from a person like that? Why would you? If anything, I believe you will turn out similar to, to that person if you begin to Take spiritual advice from that person. If you have higher faith in God than a person, why would you take faith advice from a person with weaker faith than you? Now, perhaps chances are they may tell you something you may not know, okay? But what if they begin to tell you what is possible in God and what is not possible in God? Why would you even listen to that? If anything, I believe your faith will lower to that person's level of faith. So why even put yourself in a situation like that? If you are going to take marriage advice from a person, get it from a person that have been married for a long time or something like that. That is succeeding in marriage. If you are going to take spiritual advice from a person, make sure that you are getting it from a true Christian. If you are going to take faith advice from a person, make sure that you are getting it from a person who is actively using their faith perhaps on the same level of faith or higher than you. We have to be careful 
in that advice that we choose to take from people. Yes, that person may be your friend, but I believe friends make mistakes too, right? There was a person that I was really, really, really close to back in, I guess, some years ago. Really, really close friends too. I believe that person, yes, that person was a really, really close friend to me. But that person advised me to do something, something really, really silly. But at the time, I thought that, hey, perhaps it can be good. But I sought out for more advice from a person that is in a situation that I was interested in. And that person told me, hey, in so many words, that person told me, make sure you really, really think about it first. In so many words, make sure you really, really think about it. Because you may encounter this, that, this, that, this, that. And in so many words, I was thinking perhaps going down that route is not a good idea. And as I am now, I am so happy that I did not take my friend's advice. <laughs> my Lord. I believe some people may mean well, but their understanding may not be all the way right. Let's say I wear a suit, a tie, mustache, and let's say I teach really, really well. Now, would you follow all my advice because I have the image of a true, I guess, <laughs> a true Christian? That would be silly to do that. You don't judge, I guess you can say you don't judge by the outward appearance. You judge, I guess you can say, by the fruit, by the attributes, by the personality, by how that person is. You judge that person by the character. Because if you follow a person because they seem like a good person, or they seem like a Christian, or they seem like a very whatever, I believe you will get fooled every time. Outward appearances can fool you. Listen, it is always best, I believe, it is always best, I believe, to go by the person's attributes, their personality, how they are. Because I believe anyone can look the part. How hard is it to dress, I guess, really nice and say, some or speak the part and act a certain way for a while. I don't believe that is too hard. But I believe the more time you speak to a person, the more time you stay around a person, I believe you are going to see how they truly are because I truly believe that a person can only act fake for only so long. 
I have no problem as long as you are doing it in a respectful way. I have no problem with a person trying to figure me out because <laughs> the way I am, I am this way pretty much all the time. So you are not going to hear me curse. You are not going to do all, you are not going to see me do anything. I don't believe you are going to see me do anything bad. So if you want to, what is that word? If you want to, I guess you can say, find me out. Okay, fine. I have no issue with that. But my point is, going back to my point, be careful of the advice that you choose to take from people. Yes, they may, they may have been going to church for many years, but that doesn't mean that, they, <laughs> that their advice is sound all the time. We have to be careful. Even with me, test, as long as you are doing it in a respectful way, you can test what I say, fine. I don't have any issue with that unless you do it in this really grimy, in this rude way. So be careful. Let me stop here. God bless you.